now we're joined by international show jumper Cameron Hanley. Cameron, tell us a little bit about 2014 for you. Um, you were, of course, at the World Equestrian Games, which was had to be a major highlight. Yeah, it was great to be there. Uh, the team did very well. It was great to be part of the Irish team. Uh, it was my second World Equestrian Games, and it's always an honour to, to get to ride a championship for your country. It was very much a case of so close but so far. I mean, it was an outstanding result, but yet not to qualify was disappointing. But it didn't seem fair to be disappointed with such a good result. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the three lads all finished in the top 12, which was fantastic. And the individual performances, I think, were a fence away from qualifying, maybe two fences away from a medal. So even it just goes to show how high the standard is, even with all those really good results. We, we just fell short of our, of our goal in the end. I'm um, looking at 2014. What was the main highlight for you? Um, we were always riding the Nations Cups are great. Um, jumped a nice clear in Hickstead in the Nations Cup. I love Hickstead. It's a great place to jump, and that gave me a real buzz. Being on the team in uh, Rotterdam, Le Ball, always those for me. The Nations Cups are always the highlight of the year. Um, had a few good results in uh, the Global Champions Tour. Got third there in Monaco, which is a very prestigious event and, and nice to do good. And it was on a horse that I had produced from a young horse, so that that was also a, a bit of a highlight as well. And you have some exciting news that you've just moved into your own yard, um, which sounds absolutely amazing. Tell us a little bit about it for the folks at home that haven't heard. Yeah, it's the uh, first time in my life now I have my own place. I have been based with my brother the last few years, uh, Carl and Nadia, his wife. Um, it's been great with Carl, uh, but it was time to, to, to spread my wings and get out on my own, so I just bought a yard just a half an hour up the road, so we have a little West of Ireland contingency in the north of Germany now. Um, beautiful yard, not too big, 18 boxes, a couple of uh, sand rings and a few paddocks and stuff like that, and a little indoor, so really looking forward to getting started. Unfortunately, <clears throat> things have changed a little bit for me in the last week. I lost my, my sponsor um, last week um, from Switzerland. All the horses I was riding were owned by, by those owners, um, apart from Living the Dream, who was half mine and half theirs. So seven out of the eight horses have left already. Um, sad to see them go, but sure, that's part of the game. I still have Living the Dream at the moment, and I, unfortunately yet, I don't know if I'm going to get to keep them or not. We're in negotiations trying to find a solution. Hopefully I can keep them, but um, we'll have to see how it pans out. Um, horses really are you know, highs and lows. Yeah, living the dream, is that your aim? Would you like to keep him? I mean, he is an amazingly talented horse. Yeah, he's a great horse. I mean, he, he debuted with me in the Nations Cup last year. He jumped in Ack and he jumped a clear round. He's, he's fantastic ability. He's just turned 10 now, so he's the ideal age. I think he'd be a really good contender for getting on the team for the European Championships this year and with the long-term run, long term aim of the, the Olympic Games for next year. As I said, unfortunately, I'm not too sure how it's going to work out. Um, he's a super horse. He's really a pleasure to ride. I love being around him every day, it's not just the competitions like, you know, so we just have to see how, how it pans out. The support you've been getting on social media alone has been absolutely overwhelming, I'm sure. Tell us a little bit about that and does that mean a lot to you? Really, um, it means a lot, you know, it's, um, it's been a, you know, a tough time, like, these are parts of the job that, that happen, it's not the first time it has happened to me. So, um, but the support I've had from friends and family and everything like that, like, you know, most of the time I'm mentally very strong and I get on with things and it's no problem, put it behind me, there are years, are, but, you know, there are moments where <clears throat> you think of what you're losing and everything like that and the support I've had from people, you know, I just read some of the messages and the telephone calls and the texts and stuff like that and definitely raises my spirits and, you know, makes me kick on. And as you've mentioned, you have come back before from your knee injury. So, I mean, nothing is impossible to you. And we, um, so are you confident you can make a comeback? Yeah, I'm going to make a bit of a change of direction now, I would say, with the new yard. I'll probably concentrate a bit more on younger horses now um, and try to build up that way. Definitely, like, I, I want to try to come back, but it'll probably take a little bit more time. I won't walk straight into a uh, Grand Prix horse. I, I think I'm going to have to build them up again. But, I mean, I love riding and I'm not too bad at it. So I think if I find the right horses and produce along, then maybe I can come back again. But, you know, it's... Uh, I nearly have enough of it now at this stage, comebacks like, you know, so hopefully you can get there and stay there this time. And um, I saw a picture on Facebook um, of your kids, they have, you've now bought them two horses, so that has to be a positive, they're going to have you around, um, you can be their own personal trainer, how do you think that will go down? <laughs> For me it's great, I'm not too sure how happy they'll have me, having me around the whole time, but um, yeah, it's great, I mean, that's having the kids there now riding around and me there helping them and you know with my job that is you know I've been doing it for a long time I've been 25 years uh, competing at a relatively high level so it's almost every week on shows and 
um, it puts a lot of strain and a lot of demand on the family life as well. Um, so this is definitely, I'll be at home a bit more and uh, I'm really looking forward to that or whatever. And yeah, it's opening up another channel in my life, I guess, you know, so there's nothing so bad that there isn't some good in it, like, you know. Cameron, thanks a million for chatting to us today and we really wish you the very best. I have no doubt you'll make a massive comeback. Thank you very much. Hope you're right, Sophie.